When building the Maryland Dove, the first step of the process is lofting. It's where we're taking the naval architect's drawings and we're applying it in full scale to the boat shop floor. Simply the process is creating a grid of buttock and water lines and applying the ship's hull at three different angles. These three different angles are the profile, which is a side view, the half breadth, which is a top view, and the body plan, which is looking at the boat from straight ahead. Over the next few minutes, you'll see three months of lofting in about three minutes. Once the offsets are plotted onto the grid, the process of fairing begins. This means making sure each one of the curved ship frames will transition smoothly one to the next. The wood strip called a batten is run fore and aft along the water lines of the half breadth and the buttock lines of the profile to ensure that frame by frame the full shape will be both buildable and beautiful. This is accomplished by running the batten through the offsets and continuously tweaking the batten until it looks fair to the eye. Now that the shipwrights have fared the lines and applied them to the ship's body plan, it's time to make patterns for the frames. We only make a pattern for one side and then produce the mirror image of that pattern to the other side to ensure symmetry. To the left of the center line on the body plan, you'll see the patterns being made for the aft frames of the ship. Now we move to the right side of the center line on the body plan for straight view from the front of the ship. You'll see the shipwrights are now making patterns for the forward frames of the ship. And all of these patterns have since been used to make the frames that form the structure of the hull. Now that the patterns have all been made, you will see our shipwrights laying them back on the body plan to accurately label the water lines, buttock lines, and diagonals that will help us align each frame to itself and eventually to the rest of the boat itself. Make sure you visit the shipyard to see how this process has evolved and how these lines have become full frames that now fit together on the ship's backbone. Feel free to ask the shipwrights about what they're working on today.